wow, this is a very atmospheric movie. This is one of those movies that you watch and you feel like you've been teleported to that particular period. And we have to give props to the set designers, the costume designers, the director, and the cinematographer, because they were able to take us to that particular period. The lighting, costumes, just look like they are from the 70s. And it just feels and looks like it's from that particular period. That's one thing that I love about, about this movie, from the cars, you, you know, the vehicles. It just, I, I felt like I was teleported to that period. Now, this is one of a very few movies that I found really hard to think about how I was going to review it, because in, in one part, it sounds, if you're into reggae, if you're into the Rastafari culture, if you're into Jamaican culture, if you know Bob Marley, this will be a very good experience. If you've never heard of Bob Marley, you're not into the you know, Rastafari culture, you've never really heard the Pasio, Pasio uh, Jamaican you know, language, then this would be, you know, if you're just a, a film fan who just walked into the cinema and you saw this thing called One Love and you just walked in, then this might be also a difficult movie to watch. As a film fan, I feel that there are aspects about this movie that let me down because I felt like it was jumping around too much, you know, with the flashbacks and the fact. Basically, I wish this movie would have focused on a younger Bob Marley because they had a great actor. I think he looks the part, but I, I kept trying to see him as the younger Bob Marley. I would have wished I would have focused on one particular period of his life when he was a bit younger and see him come up to be who he is. But the best way to put it is this is more of a celebration of the character and I think this is because the family is the executive producer of this particular film so they would want him to be portrayed in a particular way. Um, think of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. It, it, it feels kind of that movie. It plays really safe in portraying Bob Marley in a certain way that, you know, is crowd pleasing. It, it, I felt like it felt a bit generic. It falls in line with what you'd expect from a bioepic at this particular period. From Elvis to Bohemian Rhapsody to the Whitney Houston one, you know, it, it's, it's, it's trying, it's more like uh, let's celebrate this particular figure, but let's not go into co into the, any controversies. Um, yeah, we may touch a bit of the whatever happened to him from a political point of view, but we want to celebrate this particular character. We don't want to taint his image. We want to, you know, maintain that particular image and just celebrate the person. And that's how this movie feels like. I expected a bit more, especially working with the director, Green and Ben, the, the actor, both actors, you know, the actor, I keep forgetting her name. She plays Rita. I think she, fantastic job. Uh, ben, uh, wow, the, 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 the main actor's performance was so good that at first you go like, ah, there's that moment you go like, ah, I still cannot see Bob Marley, but as you move on, you get into it so much that you forget. You get into it that he becomes Bob Marley on screen. So his, performances, his performance was pretty cool. But as I said before, I wish that we would have looked at a younger Bob Marley. I wish, I, I wish it was a bit more focused on the younger version of him because this jumping around it felt like it felt unfocused you know it felt like it was throwing too much on the screen there were too many ideas from too many different periods that was thrown onto the screen from moving to, uh, to from moving to england to you know the getting shot you know almost getting assassinated now if you are a reggae fan if you're a jamaican fan if you love bob marley there's nothing wrong with this film. This film is perfectly shot, as I said in the beginning, the atmosphere, it feels like the 70s. The director does a good job in portraying Bob Marley in a certain way, that if you're a Bob Marley fan, you can just sit down, take him, yeah, there's some dramatic moment, but a lot of moment is just laying back and just enjoying the music, you know, and how the music is just blended into everything blended into the story but not so much so that it takes away from the story it's, it's enough to be there to be present and for you to smile every once in a while because you love one or two I had like around 15 songs if, 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 I, if I'm not wrong there were around 15 songs within the movie 15, 16, 17 perhaps but
but every time they come up it just puts a smile on your face if you love music if you love um, the Rastafari culture and now if you are now into the Jamaican culture wow this will be now perhaps the this is one of the best depiction of Jamaica that I've seen it's not accurate but it's depicted in such a way that I'm not seen in Hollywood for a very long time. You know, Jamaica is depicted in, in some weird ways in movies because it's more of a touristic, uh, a tourist destination for most people. But they, it lacks that grounded, realistic feel. And I think, thanks to the director, we got that feeling from this particular movie. So yeah, if you love Bob Marley, this is a five. This is a four point eight out of five. If you've never heard of Bob Marley, you've never listened to his music, and you just walked into a film, and you you just wanted you just wanted to spend your money on something to watch, then this is going to be a three out of five. The performances are okay. The costumes are fantastic. The cinematography is fantastic because it captures that moment. The direction is awesome, but it's limited by the screenplay and the need to portray tell the story in a certain way because there's this very strong direction but it jumps everywhere the story jumps from one time period to another time period so it, it lacks that you know that smooth flow from an a it feels it, it's it's a low-key christopher nolan movie low-key no not not like all out it has a a small touch of christopher nolan if you watch christopher nolan movie sometimes it can be very disorienting and that's the feeling that I got out of watching this film but again the direction is very strong the music is the music is actually one of the the music is one of the few reasons that are that I would ask you to see this on the big screen the music the costume the cinematography because it's very atmospheric and you can actually just sit back and you know watch these people tell us about a legend so basically that's it that's my review of one love the bob marley story um thanks for watching remember to always watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch and i shall see you on the next one and please subscribe hit the like button i think you've had this forever if you're always on youtube like press the like button subscribe but i hope to see you on the next one so please subscribe